Hey guys, welcome to today's video and in today's video we're going to be talking about Buck Up and Drive and Buck Up and Drive is actually a really cool game and it's really unique because it's also like obviously a new game but also has that retro feeling and it's really cool because it's like a racing and drifting type of game and the controls and the feeling of the game is really fucking good. Um, two sad parts of this game but they could possibly maybe change as this game gets more popular because this game did just release um in january but um pretty much it's only a single player game and it's only on pc but a plus side to that the game's very fucking cheap it's under ten dollars and it runs for like eight bucks on steam and i definitely would say it's worth buying because there's a lot you can get out of this game this game has a lot of different environments that you start off with and that you can unlock as you get more points and stuff in the two game modes. And you could obviously unlock different cards and decals the same way. Um, and what's cool is you could mod in, um, in like car decals and shit, which is really cool. And, um, and it's just cool when games kind of let you mod stuff in because it lets you just kind of put in your own unique touch into the game. But, um, pretty much with the game is that those different environments you can race through or play through. And this game has a lot of environments. This game never really feels too repetitive and actually has a really good flow to it. Again, like I said, there are two game modes. One game mode is kind of like a racing time trial game mode where you'll try and beat the map before the time is up. And um, what's cool is those like little ramps and you could grind the guardrails or do flips through the air and shit like that. I don't know, it's a, just a cool little test between keeping the game on a kind of a, a realistic feeling and then an unrealistic arcade feeling. This game's just a really cool game, and I feel like it's a game you'd walk up to an arcade machine and it'd be sitting there and you're like, ah oh, shit, this looks cool, you know? Um, again, like I said, it has that like retro feeling, and, but what's cool is it's still... Like, it doesn't feel like, oh, I played this game before. It just kind of gives you that similar feeling. Like, I played a game similar to this, you know what I'm saying? And it's just it's really cool because it's just, you can see how unique this game is. At least once you play it, you'd be like, huh, like, I feel like I played this game before. But, like, obviously, I I haven't, but there's so much, like, new shit. Like, it just feels like the ultimate, like, if this game came out, like, 20 years ago... It seems like it could be the ultimate racing drifting game, you know? And still nowadays, I feel like it have a good uh, competition towards algo games and stuff. But, um, again, like, not everyone's going to want to play, like, a racing drifting game or, like, a retro version of that. But, again, if you're kind of looking for that, this is a game for you. And also, it's a really cool game if you will try and find a game to play late at night or a game that you just want to play while just chilling, talking to some friends or just listening to some music and you don't want to try hard too much or you don't want to have to try in the game. This is the perfect game for that because obviously as you go through waves or rounds, yeah, it gets harder, but it doesn't get too hard. It, it stays at a pretty decent level, you know, it's not like, oh my god, this game's so fucking hard. It kind of has a good build-up. And then also with the other game mode, it's like a PvE game mode. And I feel like if they added an online mode, it'd be perfect. Because with this PvE mode, you'll kind of try and fuck up the other car before it fucks up your car. You know, you're crashing into each other. You're slamming into each other and shit like that. And it's just it's a really cool game because, again... There are some games like this game, but not too many, and I feel like the developers, uh, if they keep working on this game, it, they could be going on to a good direction, and I definitely could see this game being becoming very popular the more they add to it. Definitely if they added an online mode where you could play with your friends and shit, I feel like it would be really good. I don't know, I just feel like this game has a lot of fucking potential. And I hope they don't fuck it up. <laughs> but either way, yeah, I know it kind of sucks that it's only on PC. But it kind of, when I do see games starting out only on PC, sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's a bad thing. Like, sometimes you get things like Rust, where it's great on PC, but complete dog shit on console. But then those games like 
uh, buck up and drive or I feel like they if they had to port it over to a console I feel like they'd be able to do it and I feel like the controls wouldn't be too hard to copy over as well and I just feel like this game definitely if it maybe got picked up by a big old development team too that it could do good like I'm not saying just rip it from the little development team and like stuff like that but I'm just saying sometimes bigger development teams will see a smaller development team and be like yo you're on to some good shit here's some money and like I, I'm just saying if some shit like that happened or this game did get popular and they were able to add stuff more often which they do update the game I feel like pretty often but if they were able to update the game as often as they wanted to I feel like this game could do some really like interesting and cool things that you don't really see in most games you know it's pretty unique and different than a lot of game series are already out there right now but besides that guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah i'll see you guys all in the next video like and subscribe definitely it's worth buying buck up and drive um i kind of explained it a bit in today's video but definitely to kind of get your own kind of understanding, I definitely would say it's worth buying, trying it out yourself. Worst case scenario, if you don't like it, it's only 8 bucks, just refund it. But yeah, besides that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. And yeah, I, I don't know, I just feel like this game, I feel like a lot of people usually could like this game. Even if you're not really into racing games, I feel like you could like it. Because I, personally, I like racing games, but also I'm not hella into them, and I love this game. But besides that, yeah, for the third time, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.